Welcome back everybody, Pro Spartan Gamer and PGA Tour 2K23 and it's the next update video on what is now being called the Battlefields of Sparta with me, the Pro Spartan Gamer. Showed you the first three holes, um, we're on the Delta theme if you remember and we just got the heavy, t heavy rough tool removal thing is just being released on the latest update which we showed you um update which we showed you last time so uh, we are up the whole 10 now some are more finished than others so we're going to just run through them quickly with you and show you what we've done so we've got the fourth which is a par five it's 556 yards i think loft elevated t little um shelter there lots of rough again so you've got choices here it's going to be a long way to hit over here but downwind you may want to take a chance it's 362 you're gonna to have to rip one but if you've got downwind you've got downward elevation as well from the tee so you have got a chance that maybe you might be able to reach that on a good day otherwise avoiding trouble down here fairly safe tee shot probably don't want to take driver because you might be too close so laying up here around 240 from the green avoiding the bunkers got a little oasis here lots of these little oases are scattered around this course just little drinking places for wildlife there's a lot of wildlife on this course you'll you'll see some mooses and the like um, scattered about you've also got a few that didn't make it to the watering hole or were killed by the brave Spartans when they needed a meat feast at the end of a hard day's battle. Plenty of wildlife in the air as well. Eagles and ravens feasting on the dead corpses and that have been around here over the years. Anyway, second shot up to this plateau is not very even here. You're not you're gonna have to take your chances on where you land or you go for the green. So you're not going to get on the green from here, I don't think. It's 256. You might want to take a chance, but it's all uphill and a few trees in the way. But risk and reward, as always, with a par five. That's what we like. It's better to do a risk and reward. It's better a steep climb if you're walking as well. You then come through here, through this little quarry area. A few stones have been left, and nothing for this game. For two in the bed, as I used to say in bullseye. But yeah, if you hit that front edge, you're going to be running back down here. Um, so, slightly two tier green. Don't want to be up here and putting back. Let's get rid of those measuring tapes because they're everywhere where I've been working it out. Let's delete them a minute, get them out of your way. Yeah, so a couple bunkers sunk right in. See some birds flying around there. Don't want to fall down in there, that's going to be hell on earth getting out of that bunker, I should think. Bunkers are deep on this game, we said we were going to do that. Nice elevated green. Par 5, tough one. Some of you will probably make it look easy, but I think that's a tough little hole really. And then we move over and around here to the 5th. Elevated T, quite a lot of elevation shifts when we're in these footholds, if you remember. And we are coming down from here. It's 200 yards, par three, but it's, I mean, it plays a lot less than that. It's probably playing 170 with this elevation. And there's out of bounds in a few areas here. Obviously, if you totally shank one, you're in that mess down there. And you are in a world of mess. And I don't know what you're gonna find down there. There could be all sorts down there. You don't wanna be down there at all. Out of bounds here. All down here to the, the left where those dead cedar trees are. A lot of dead plant and parched landscape. Tiny green this, the fifth. Made it a real challenge, this one. You've got to hit it anywhere really on the green there. And you've got to, it's a small one, but it's a lovely set. This, I mean, it's giving some beautiful landscapes. And there you can see is a... We've got no crowds watching, but there's plenty of wildlife. You've got a stag and his harem of doe there. He's three on one action he's going for. 
there, the old stag, he's getting his horns out there. He's, uh, his horns having a good scene too, by the does. Do, re, mi. And then we go on to the sixth. Where are we looking? Sixth over here. Again, up in the footholds, elevated. What is the sixth? It's a par four and it's three. Is it 340? I don't know if you can see the scorecard. Can we just see the scorecard? Never know. Don't think you can actually, but let's just see. Let's try and get the. If we go back to the cursor, we should be able to tell you what it is. Sorry for that. But right, it's 398, so it's 400 yards to the green. This sick. So if you're driving from here over all this wasteland and you're landing on a small area here, but it's, it don't, it's, it's quite doable. I mean, what we're looking at 300 yard drive, the front edge of it is 259. So, unless it's really, really windy in your face, you should be landing on there comfortably. And then you can see undulation on this green is, is obviously it is world waste landscape we've not had the funds to make this an arena as a spartan or the river of leonardis my other two courses where the money was no object this one has been rumor has it is that this was obviously the battle one of the battlefields or the battlefield of the brave 300 sparta and some of the ancestors of the great leonardis have sculptured this land and made this golf course because they know how much Leonardis liked a bit of golf in his time. That is a rumor. That's the rumor had it that Leonardis used to have a used to play off like two handicap. He was the main man. And if anyone beat him, well, God help them, he would cut their head off in the morning. Anyway, from here you've got 120 yards to the green, and you've got these trees here, which are obviously going to play a factor where you land you're going to have to think about it bend the ball around and again lovely setting green all the greens are a picture on this course i think and you've got trouble down there you've got trouble all around you've got a bit of a some ruins here from an old building that's just been moved by the spartans to make this green big bunkers you don't want to be in them really they're deep you're going to do well to get out of them and get close. Look at that. I mean, there he's falling away to it. Again, might might do a little bit more on this green. Don't know. We'll have to see how it play tests. Um, don't want to make it impossible, but there, anything left of there, that's going to gobble it up. Anything short is going to be gobbled. Anything too much. There is a backstop that might pull you back in, but if you go too far, you're in that one. That's the sixth, par four. And the seventh is a cracker. Probably one of my favourite holes so far. Here we've got the highest point of the map. And it's a, the remains of a little bit of a hill fort that was there back in the day, I think. Looking over the harbour and you could look down river or down sea there to see who was attacking you by, by sea. And you could look round over the whole of the area, see who was coming all the way round. That was one of the main forts of the Spartan army, one of their main hideouts. So the seventh, it measures 293 yards to the green, but it's over the top of all these trees and there's danger all around the green. So it's up to you or you can go land down here on this little plateau. It's fairly narrow, it's three bunkers. It's, you know, it's basically only 180 yards from the tee, so it's basically an iron down there. And then you've got, it's still a difficult shot, but you can just see the green there through the through the gap in the trees. Only 117 yards down again. And you could, into this tiny little green. Let's get that off that. And there it is, the flag's quite at the front. There's two flags actually on this one, I think. No, we, yeah, no, the flag is actually more to the back. So if you're brave and you want to go over the top, you've got all this down the back. 
if you go too far that you don't want all that to the side natural natural hazards no sand around this one no bunkers it's all natural elevations in the rock some burnt trees some dead trees from the battles there it is looking down on it so you can see the t t box there to the left if you want to try and take a chance over the top be my guest hopefully we'll catch some of you out good luck if you get an eagle on that one some will no doubt about it but like I say, that's a nice little hole, something different. Really trying to vary, have variation in the holes. It's not always easy, um, but we're trying to sort of make them creative, give you something different, um, but not make them impossibly hard, because, I mean, that would just be stupid and not have them. I don't really want it like a crazy golf course either, so they've got their time and their place, but um, I still want it to look good as well, even though it's a totally different landscape to my previous two courses the eighth let's get the cursor back on so we can see what we're talking about this one's a monster it's 608 yards and it's island hopping basically this one so you're going to be driving off the tee onto this plateau missing that deep deep bunker and coming around this area that's leaving you again you might i don't think you will feel like you're going to make it 321 to the green up the U. Um, that's what you're left with. And then you go over to this one. And then from here, it's all about getting the right position to get your shot in. It's still 200 yards in. Um, and there's the green. Surrounded again by danger all down the back, all around the side. A lot of dead trees. Look like there's been fires and that going on here. Tough par five, elevated. It's on the on the top tier as well. Um, it would be nice to make a course though that perhaps like two or three under is a hell of a score. I mean, remember the Predator that's just come out and it's just been released a couple of weeks ago on this game um, from the Tiger Wood Games, and that used to be if you went round in sort of level par there, you 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 really were chuffed, and it's just been done. I think I think the chap's name is Alan Greens span or spurn apologies for if i've got his name wrong but it looks a real good reincarnation of what was a great gaming moment really when you played the predator it was always great along with the highlands so that's looking back on the eighth and, and <laughs> that looks like a hole be fit into the predator to be honest coming down from those elevations hopping down there i mean really excited about the look of this course i've had to put my ocd to one side i'm very much planting symmetrical on the other courses and like the look of a manicured course this is totally different and i'm trying to make it a lot more random with the planting and stuff but um sometimes it does test me and we're on the ninth another par three beautiful hole this one one of, again one of my favorites trying to make all the par threes a little bit different again we've got elevation it's 210 yards but it'll probably play a little bit less than that but there you see it back in this cavern almost rain built up may have been a bit of a hideout or a camp for the spartans in the day in there but um don't know what you're going to take from here probably be longer shine through here that's where you walk through this little bit and then you've got there's a couple pin placements Pin one will be on the higher side. Pin two, if you want to take it, will be on the low side. Danger all around. No bunkers again. Natural hazards. If you go in there, if you go at the back, you're going to get good value if you get up there. We haven't messed around with this green too much. We, you know, it's just small deviations, nothing crazy. That's a ninth. What an absolute belter of a hole on the turn, I would say. That is really liking that and very excited about the 10th as we change probably we're going to now start changing into different landscape with the 10th we're moving down towards the sea or the river i think it's probably a sea more on this course it feels like an estuary or something coming in from the sea and the 10th is not finished this is in development really i mean the other holes are nearly there they just need a little bit more tweak to them Here's the 10th then, it is another, it's a par 5, but this one is risk and reward for sure. 
It's 592 yards to the green, which sounds quite a lot. Um, you've got a couple options here. I don't think you'll be able to drive over those caverns and holes because we've got some real craters and all sorts going on in the land here. Look at it. It's, um, well, it's, it's beautiful in its ugly way, if you like. So you're driving down to here, which is about 300 yards. You've got these wallows of water and you've got three strategically placed bunkers here. So if you want to go in here and try and get it to land in here to give yourself a chance of reaching the green in two, there's danger. But if you want to go for the safer shot back here, you can. And then you're going over the top of this wallow to another fairway and the fairway meanders all the way down here to the to the green so um, your choice where you decide to pitch to really there narrows into the green obviously you've got a couple bunkers and wasteland all around from here you want to well the pin you can see is on the right hand side of the green and this green's a bit bit tricky it's got a few hazards as you can see it's a big old green we've whacked a big old green in you don't want to be up here putting down because you've got these bunkers and all of this land runs away into the estuary there is the pin there so looking back it coming from up there nice shot into it but a lot of danger front and back big big deep bunkers as well these are you know like pothole bunkers there you don't want to be in either of them really and the other thing that you've got to be careful on, on this hole is there is some vicious wildlife we've got crocodilios and there's a few of them they're having a party over there on crocodile rock over there and as we said before you don't want to be taking a piss near crocodile rock because you leave without a cock so that is the tenth, which isn't finished, we probably will put in a little bit more planting, maybe some rocks um, on the way of the tenth. I don't know. And we're moving down now into this area. Um, I imagine the next hole will be a par three and will involve some water back across here, maybe um, as we look to go around got all this area we may go back to the footholds i don't know we don't have to stay around here we've got the tent finishing there we could go back up here and then come back round. we can do whatever we like it's our course no rules but it's looking good i'm really pleased about this one shaping up at the moment the whole totals are 10 holes we've got three par threes four par fours and three par fives so it's quite a mix I always like to put six par threes on my holes. I know some people go for less, but I do think they're the ones that always seem to get your pulses racing with a chance of a hole in one. I also like to drive about a couple drivable par fours, risk and reward holes. And I do think if, if the par fives are made really interesting, not all sort of the same, not all reachable in two, ones that you've got to be a little bit more strategic on where you place your drive, where you place your second shot, then I think they've got good value as well. But that's the course taking shape. Meanders around here, comes through the higher higher areas and then is on its way back down towards the estuary and where we take go from 10, we'll have to wait and see. But it's shaping up to be a beaut, I think. Leave some comments, let me know what you think. See if you're excited to try out the battlefields of Sparta and see if you get out alive from any ghosts walking around there or any crocodiles there or a um, moose in must that might think you're one of his female mooses. I don't know what a female moose would be called. Any ideas? Comments in the bottom what a female moose is called, please. Anyway, see you soon. Pro Spartan out. Cheers.